application of chain rule so we have done couple of questions which are similar so I'll treat this as your test problem right so take it as a test problem copy the question you can pause the video and then solve it once you've solved look into my suggestions so what I will do is I'll give you the method of doing it and it's up to you to find out the real answer okay so the question is find dy dt at t equals to 1 if y equals to square root of 1 plus r square and r equals to 1 plus t divided by 1 plus 2t. Now this is really a complicated problem and once you try to solve it all the skills which you learned in this set of videos will be required to get the right answer. Correct? So take your time and do it. Once you have completed your solution then restart and look into my suggestions. Now my suggestions are we should actually first understand what we are trying to do. So here we are trying to find slope which is dy by dt for a function which is a composite function. So we have a function where y is a function of r and r is a function of t. So y is related with t. It's kind of saying like this it is a function, let me write y here, y as a function of r and r as a function of t, right? So it's a composite function, you see? So that is how they are related and therefore we can find dy dt, right? Now we want to find dy dt at t equals to 1. So if t is 1, then what is r? It is a good thing to find r right in the very beginning. So at this stage, we should also write down r is equals to, when t is 1, 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 2, which is 2 over 3. So now we know that at t equals to 1, r equals to 2 over 3. Now it helps, because when we find dy dt, we don't really have to write r in terms of t. We know what r is. That is how it helps. Now. When you're starting to do this work, start with outside function first. So let's find dy dr first. So what is dy dr? dy dr, this is a square root function. Derivative of this thing, which is 1 over 2 times square root 1 plus r square, right? And derivative of inside function. It's a chain rule within, right? Derivative of inside function is 2r, right? By now, you must understand how I got this. Okay, so we have 2r and this can be simplified and 2 and 2 cancel, we get this as r over square root of 1 plus r square. So that is dy dr. Now find what is dr dt. So dr dt is equals to, now you can apply quotient rule or product rule. Product rule by using denominator as to the power of minus 1. But let's apply quotient rule for the time being. So quotient rule will be square of the denominator, derivative of the first term times second term. Derivative of the first term is 1, right? So it is 1 times 1 plus 2t minus derivative of second term, which is 2, times the first term, which is 1 plus t, right? Now let's simplify this. It's good practice to simplify. We have 1 plus 2t never expand denominator that's the rule now 1 minus 2 gives us minus 1 is that okay 1 minus 2 2t minus 2t is 0 so we get just 1 minus 1 in the numerator that's nice now let's find what is dy by dt so dy dt is equals to dy dr times dr dt dy dr is this expression, right? So let's write this. r over square root of 1 plus r square. And dr dt is this expression, which is minus 1 over 1 plus 2t whole square. So that's what you get, right? Now, what you have to do is, you have to get the real answer. So we know the derivative, right? We know the derivative. And now, let's write down what is the real answer? That is derivative at t equals to 1. So we have dy dt at t equals to 1 and r equals to 2 over 3. So 
Now calculating this, we don't have to write this r in terms of complicated function. We avoid all that, right? And then substitute t as 1 and r as 2 over 3 in your equation. So you get 2 over 3 over square root of 1 plus 2 over 3 square times I'm keeping it separate because just to show you how we are getting to this, we could always multiply and do it, right? Anyway, over 1 plus t is 1 for us, 1 plus 2 whole square, right? Now this expression is your answer. You can do final calculations from here and get your answer, right? So calculate the answer from here, which could be dy over dt at t equals to 1 and r equals 2 over 3 is equals to, so we have minus 2 over 3 here, so we have minus sign, so let me do this, so minus 1, which gives you minus 2 and 3, okay, let's write 3 at present, we'll add here only, then we'll later on take it down. Now this is 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 square is 9, so we get 9, right, that is this 9. Within square root, what do we have? We have, this is 2 plus 2 over 3 whole square. That means 4 over 9, right? So let me go one more step and say 1 plus 4 over 9 square root. Is that okay? So this, slowly do it. So that's helpful to get the real answer, right? So you get minus 2 and we'll bring this 3 down, right? So when you bring 3 down, so you get 27. Square root of take common denominator, right? So we get 9 plus 4 over 9. It is important for me to show all these steps because I've seen students making mistake at this stage, right? So that could be avoided. Even if you make stage now, I mean error at this stage, since you are following a method, you do get credit for that, right? So this 3, square root of 9 is 3, right? So that comes out. So we can write this over 3. Do you see that? And we get square root of 9 plus 4 as 13. Now this is 9. So we can write down our answer as minus 2 over, this is 9, right? 9 square root 13. So that is the kind of answer which we may get when we solve all this, right? So do it in steps and even if you do kind of some mistakes here and there, you can always go back and check. It is important to follow each and every step so that the mistakes can be traced or a teacher who is looking at it can forgive you for a small error done for getting a wrong answer, right? So it is advantageous in any case. I hope you appreciate the method. Thank you.